Yes. The fog cleared suddenly. I can speak of what I've seen, but I felt pulled away. Say nothing of it now. Return to this another time. I will, when I'm ready. Salve, Eivor. We have not yet been introduced. I am Octavian Claudius... Quite a name you have. If you are wondering what good I will bring to the settlement, you need only look to the greatest... Yes, I have seen their... But you have not seen them restored to their former glory. Of course... I will build you something when I can. Tell me if you... Fa I must be on... Die dulci fruimini! Always not. What do you have? To have you got a? Have you got a contract? Another day, another series of tasks. Sooner you come back. Have you got a con? I have request. There will be. Have you got a contract for me? Not only does this. One man's death with yours. I will see. You go on.
Smiley. Time in Midgard is over.
best about this land, my friend.
Greetings. Have you got a contract? I have just received... There will... While you were away, your Jomsvikingar helped to serve other Jarls. Here is the tribute they earned. I would like to reopen. All right. I'm off. All Father favors you, Apo. I would join in that glory. Daddy needs some more of that golden honeyed milk. Join me. Together we'll force open the doors of the All Father's Hall. Well, welcome back. You look well traveled and rugged. I want to see the alliance. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. I will make the trip east then. Speak to this Finnia myself. A good plan. Rest assured, Eivor, the settlement is in safe hands. I did. Put them right over there. Keep them out of your way when you aren't using them. That is... actually a very good idea.
Hello, Eivor. Off we go. No raising the sail here. Sing us a song.
Crush this bomb! Calm yourself, lucky spawn. Can't raise the sail yet. Run up the sail! Let's have a song. What's happening? Finir? Oh, no, not unless Hafton sent you. I sent myself. I want to speak with Finir, the steward who should be working to put a king on that throne. Oh, you're in luck then, for I have found the man already. I'm only waiting on him to get married. Which man? Uh, you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attack my clan. I want to know why, and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. 
I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who can't keep the Danes in line. You're not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham, who was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half Dan Jarl made it clear. Who wants a Saxon king married to a Dane for a greater show of unity? But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. If it isn't Eivor of the Raven Clan. How do you know me? People talk. I've heard all the rumors that Eivor the Dane is a coward, a cur, and a leech. Perhaps you can swing that wee axe on your belt. You might be surprised. Let us duel. Well, I'll need a wager first. Here's the silver. Now begin. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. Then you're speaking to fools and their knowledge is flawed. Well, not bad. They say you're a coward who runs from a fight. Whoever would say that certainly isn't right. They're right. You are awful at this. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. Then you have clearly misheard them. My wit is immense. Oh, you looked out with that one. Well, what a surprise. Eivor of the Raven Clan is a true talent. I'm shocked. Do not believe everything you hear. Unless it touches on my flighting, then heed every word. Take the coin, and know that only praise will henceforth cross my lips. They rushed in like wolves, killing and burning as they went. It wasn't us. Your folk destroyed this country once before. Now you do it again. I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burnt to the ground years ago. And by whom, I wonder? Please, all of you, be we Dane or Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. 
without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. You handled that well. Disputes between Saxon and Dane don't always end so cleanly. That was a clean result. A dispute ending without bloodshed is as clean as they come. Quite a brutal outlook. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings. But I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan, led by a Dane called Ruid, attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Halfton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Right here. Hold. There's smoke ahead. That's beat me. I must be careful now. That's beat me. It could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. Stay here. I'll have a look.
Ruid's clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'd be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. Healthy scene in town. This asphalt has done well for himself. Hey! Dane's huh. tool the heart out. Look there. Alone Dane. Can't trust that. Be kind, yeah? As Christ would command. Ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I asked you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Vinir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Broder, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfdan commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, dear, that the is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty ass. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home, and won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. We'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. Between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolfkist, or you'll find it freed of your face! So... Easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this. You heard me. That's it. She called us flaccid. Limp, weak, soft. Oh, my God. 
That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia is in the state it is. <sighs> you are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me, Don. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I will find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. in the longhouse and wake my brothers with the coldest water you can find. Good to see you. Good morning. Upright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the moo of a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, 
That's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, Stuart Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday Eve, but fear not, the Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Finner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnear the Hound. He has bark, but no bite. Just a puppy I've found. <laughs> What just happened? That is flighting, Oswald. Using rhyme and rhythm to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Uh, a glutton you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. He's got the wit of a boar, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, Kerr, you'll be raven flock food. But your brain's soaked in mead, and your... Head's made of wood. Wood! Head's made of wood! He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winters are season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. Oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy, so dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail... Blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. He'd take two seats and a longship. He'd do well to remember that, Oswald. A walrus? A whale? A behemoth by name? No, it's Finny the Fool, drunk and reeking with shame. <sighs> well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well tamed words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finnir. I challenge you to a home gang. You don't mean that, Oswald. That's a fight to settle disputes, no? A home gang. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> Too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finnir wouldn't be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on, this is... That said, I shouldn't be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Seahenge. Water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Oh, I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Do not make us wait long. It would not be kingly. Don't let me
I have come upon these ancient timbers, tarred for preservation, to mark my sacred symbol and pinpoint the source of their power. As I pray, the Lord sends through me the voice of a holy spirit. It reverberates with the finery of ancient language, and I am made anew. Were these timbers carried by the Nephilim? Barriers against invasions from afar? Please, Lord, let this truth shineth upon me as bright as your word doth. I have come upon these ancient timbers, tarred for preservation, to mark my sacred symbol and pinpoint the source of their power. As I... You made it. Now tussle with care. Go easy on a future king. It's the only way. <gasps> Done. You've still got the touch for drawing a square. I've been in East Anglia many summers now, but I'll always be a Dane. Must we do this, Eivor? Strength and courage are always a boon, Oswald. You'll need both if you want the Danes to accept you as king. True strength comes from resolve, Eivor. It speaks to us, a stern voice from within. I've never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe would silence that inner voice in seconds. You must be prepared. Wait, you're unarmed? Just do your best, I'll be fine. We'll forge your king out of you yet. Ah! Oh, was that too hard? It was a good strike. Keep going. Don't hold back. If it's a fight you seek... <laughs> you expect the Danes to follow this poor belly? I'm... I'm still breathing, aren't I? Show me what you can do, Saxon. King at this rate. Is this the best East Anglia has to offer? Yes, and I'll... I'll prove it! Come on, fight! Finish this, Eivor! It pays me to watch! You want me to fight? the victor. Don't know something, Oswald. Stay down, Oswald. That's enough. I will... I will not stay down! You fought bravely. Not with great skill, but with spirit and courage. Always push back with everything you have, even if you have to get dirty, even if you must break the rules. Because there are no rules. Not if you answer challenge head-on. That's where honor lies. Not winning the fight, but living through it. 
A seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results. Redress old wrongs. Fight back against Ruid and his men. The raiders who attacked Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, the better. That would go a long way to building you up. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils from the raid, they'd be in your debt. Time to wet your blade, Oswald. Eivor, I expect your longship crew could help with this attack. Strike up a tune. To your friend. Watch that. No one has been willing to take a stand against Ruid's clan before. We're a kingdom of farmers and merchants. Even farmers and merchants wow. can fight and led by the right person. I hope your faith in pig farmers is not misplaced, Abel. There is work to do, yes. But we will rise to meet Ruid's clan. God will make certain of it. Thank <laughs> you. 
They're still bigger than these bones. Come on, you filthy horses! <laughs> Nicely. Find something? There's a crate of hack silver here. More than enough to make everyone happy. We'll take it to the ship then. A hard one fight. The first of many, Oswald. Have you the will to keep it up? This is my gift to the brothers. I have more than enough wealth in Elmham to widen their eyes, but this will be a symbol of my commitment to our fight. It's a good start. Take what riches you find to Norwich, then send for the brothers. I'll meet you there. livestock and a trophy from our slain enemy what more do you want Saxon no battle then to Dane would ever follow this lump of lords into battle I don't care how many shields he brings me you mean to say you refuse my gifts broder I don't have time for this it's a generous offering brother you'd be a fool to turn your back Refuse this and your shame will stain the name of your sons and their sons beyond. Stay out of this, wolf kissed. Take the gift. We have bigger problems. One of Ruid's men. Aye. Sniffing around the outer walls, looking for an easy way to slip a few dozen men inside. If there's one scout, there will be more. Something you might have learned if you kept him alive. I was passing water when he surprised me. It was either him or my plow sword. Baldis is right. There will be others. If I had seen any more, I would have killed them too. Where did you find this one? Just outside the Northridge walls, by the water's edge. They will be looking for points of entry to sneak a herd of raiders through. Jesus. Find another scout. We'll question him. I'll look around. The rest of you stay here and out of sight. If I find anyone suspicious, I'll bring him here. Ruid scouts would be camped near their boats outside the city walls. One of them will talk. 